are going to die. Go too right. fast. I'm, going, I'm, I'm going, taking three. I'm going for the St. Louis now. Oh, no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you get your two? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, Thakkar here once again, and today I am going to show some good gameplay on um, Islands of Ice. And yes, it is called Islands of Ice. I called it Iceberg. Uh, you know, whatever. Islands of Ice. Um, so the last video, like I said, showed um, you know when what happens when you're just not paying attention at all, uh, not working with the team. And as you saw in uh, the second half there in my Megami, it just went terrible. So today's video I'm going to show um, what working with the team is actually going to give for you here and especially on Islands of Ice uh, if anyone hasn't seen it yet um, you, you'll start seeing it in the, the higher tiers definitely by uh, tier 8, tier 7 sometimes. Um, now I am playing with uh, Lin Wolf here today. He's a member of my clan um, just I, I really enjoy playing with him. He's also um, right around the same tier as I am, so it makes it really convenient uh, when he's on and I'm on for us to play together. Uh, now, we do have some heavy hitting uh, CVs in this match. If you noticed, there each team got a tier 9 uh, Japanese and a tier 9 American, so the X Essex and uh, I can't pronounce that tier 9 Japanese cruiser. You, you know what I'm talking about, though. Um, now initially the team is going to be going towards uh, D, um, but I'm talking to Lin Wolf here on um, TeamSpeak and he's saying, you know, why is everyone going towards D? Um, you know, enough of the people are down there, let's try to head out for C, so that's where I'm sort of going to go. Now right there, uh, that's sort of a new feature in this map, I guess they added like ice under the water. It's really nice to see though, uh, you'll see <laughs> later in the video I do take, uh, take a look at it again. Anyway, so I am going to be generally heading off to C, but even though I'm not um, going for D now, doesn't mean I still can't sort of hang around D and see if I can't help support the uh, Cleveland a little, because if you notice Lin Wolf's, Lin Wolf's group there in the south, they're the ones who are going to be going into C. I don't want to really arrive before they get there, um, just simply because I don't want to be the only one there and having the enemy shooting at me also, or having the enemy all shooting at me. Um, so, you know, for that reason, not doing it. So I shot some torps off there. Uh, it's a Fubaki. He looked like he was going that way, and I might have gotten him just as he came around that um, uh, iceberg there, but no, uh, it didn't turn out that way. He was going so slow that he was able to turn in the opposite direction and just dodge those entirely. Now, looking at the mini-map, we do see the teams actually spreading out quite nicely. Uh, you can see there's two separate, or well rather one larger group that's heading off to the most northern point A. There's a destroyer which is now capping B, and um, our team down at D, where I am now, uh, we're sort of gaining control of this point at this time. There's still the Fubaki lurking around here as well. Lin, uh, and Lin Wolf's group is getting closer to C, so once they get a little closer I'm going to start moving in um, to help them out as well. Now. The Fubaki does end up popping up here shortly for me again. Um, I do shoot another round of torps at him again, hoping that uh, you know maybe I'll get him. At the very least, it, it throws him off, and it does end up uh, working out in my favor. Later on in the video, you'll see what fate that Fubaki has. So there he is there. I don't know if he was just sitting there with um, you know engines off or what he was doing. Um, Maybe I just didn't, I, I'm not sure what he was doing, but at this point I'm putting uh, shots into him. He does start popping smoke, and because he's not moving and, and the smoke's just sort of lurking around, yeah, see, he disappears. I'm not going to go in there and chase him down in that, uh, in that smoke. Uh, no, it's just not going to happen. Uh, if no, if you aren't familiar with the Fubaki, I don't, um, you know, I'm not sure if he has the full, first hull upgrade that has the three turrets, or if it's uh, the second hull upgrade that only has the two like I do right now on the uh, Hasuaru. Now I try to pronounce that correctly there. I might have mispronounced it already early in the video. I'm not sure. Apparently it's not hat, H-A-T. Uh, it's ha and then su and then aru. Maybe so hatsuaru. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that's 
there, there's a good um, if you look on my forum posts uh, there's actually a good link that one uh, someone put up ooh the ice again look it's so great um, someone put up there and it has all the pronunciations of the Japanese ships breaks them down so take a look at that it, it's pretty helpful now Lin Wolf's, uh, Lin Wolf's group here is coming into sea um, so we are going uh, I'm now you know approaching it here as well with the group and we're gonna start capping it this North Carolina you see there um, I really wish he um, played a little better because we really could have used his support uh, so the you know for the next few minutes here we're actually going to be kind of hiding behind or using this I guess that sounds better using <laughs> this iceberg as cover um, which is a smart move the the um, North Carolina just didn't do it so what I hit there that was the Colorado I launched some torps out at him as I was approaching so I got two hits on him um, and it was some pretty good damage that I did to him, so that's, you know, not too bad at all. Um, I'm not using AA at this time. You would have noticed I used it earlier in the video, uh, but that was just because I, I did have some good cover there, so uh, I thought I'd pop it. But at this point, no, I don't want people to know I'm here if they don't have to. Um, and the two hits on the Colorado, that was 20k damage, I believe, so not too bad there. Um, now, we're still going to be hiding behind uh, this island using it as cover. Uh, you can see Lin Wolf there and then uh, Mitsuki pops up. So questionable whether or not I should have shot my guns off but I did it. Um, I do want to support uh, Lin Wolf because you know a member of the team here and um, we really want to take C because we haven't actually managed to cap it just yet. They still have a hold on it. But that Colorado, he's still coming at me so launch another spread off at him. See if he pays attention at all. Uh, to what had happened earlier is doubtful very doubtful <laughs> now the North Carolina did die he got taken out by the Fubaki I believe uh, once he rounded that iceberg there was nowhere left for him to hide uh, so he, he just got taken out and it w real shame could have used him here on the team but we've only lost two ships so far teams are still even now that second spread of torpedoes I just launched there at the Colorado that wasn't a great thing to do see uh, killed the Colorado with the first one. Um, I guess I just didn't want I didn't want to take any chances because I knew he was gonna miss the first two, but the third one on the spread, third torpedo there, it definitely was gonna hit. But I didn't look at it close enough, and I, I shot the other ones out. It worked out in my favor though, because at this point there's nothing really for me to shoot at. Um, like there is that war spite over there, but he's kind of well, he's driving a, a well sailing away from me, I guess I should say and um, my torpedoes aren't going to get him in time most likely they'll just get a range or if he turns they're going to miss so I'm not going to worry about that guy for now um, now at some point here it was just before maybe the Colorado died but he might might have been looking at the uh, minimap at that time but the the carrier player actually saved our uh, B point it was being capped there was no one there um, our destroyer who was defending it did die but he managed to chase them out with his torpedo bombers and they didn't complete the cap so we got the point back um, now the team in the north uh, you know full confidence in them they know what they're doing they managed to fight their way take a and you can see now they're they're sort of grouping up again to push whatever is in that uh, northeastern corner so I'm gonna launch um, more torpedoes off I'm not sure uh, yeah it is another battleship that I'm launching torpedoes at is it? Yeah, it could be. Who knows? <laughs> but they're on their way. Um, now it's that damn that that Fubaki over there. He was really the when we were in this area. He was the biggest threat to us because we didn't know uh, what he was, where he was at all times. Didn't know what he was going to do. And so it, it was just made it unnerving to be here. But we did manage to cap the point. They are now in a retreat. Um, but you can see the teams are still fairly even, like we, they've only lost one more ship than we have. But because our team is being really aggressive and really coordinated at this time, we're able to, to cap all, th uh, all four of these points. And we're going to be able to hold them as well, which is the main point. Like we, we might lose maybe one point, but we still keep the advantage because we'll still be able to keep, contr uh, keep control of three of the points, which will give us, you know, uh, the points we need to ultimately win. So the Fubaki came up, and he was too close. My torpedoes are reloading, 
and so I'm just gonna go and you know get in a gunfight with them now don't be afraid to actually use your guns on your Japanese destroyers you know a lot of people say that the, the guns are really bad which they are leading up to uh, you know all the way up to tier 6 once you get into tier 7 with the uh, Hatsu Aru I think maybe that's right um, once you get into tier 7 with this ship you do actually get guns that work and don't be afraid to use them uh, now words of caution obviously because as soon as you fire your guns if anything is near to you it's going to detect you um, and it'll take longer for you to stay hidden once you fired your guns as opposed to if there were planes flying overhead and they spot you but you don't have your AA on and then they fly away you know you instantly vanish if you fire off your guns even your AA guns no it's not the case you'll stay spotted for a few more seconds and sometimes those seconds are really critical um, but in this case whatever that Fubaki was a pain in my side and I gunned him down um, so that was great now at this point you know they have taken the B point from us not a big concern because again I still do have faith in the people in the north that at the very least they're going to be able to uh, hold A and B isn't such a big deal I'm in C so I'm getting myself into position now to support the team and uh, defend B in case any or sorry defend C in case anyone from B <laughs> decides to uh, to come and, and take this cab from us um, you know not gonna let that happen you can see the points counting down uh, up at the top like we're really close to just finishing the game and you know that again in this clip uh, this section of the video you know really important to look at how well the the team was coordinated again uh, in this map and we were really aggressive we didn't um, you know didn't sort of dip our toes into the water to see what would happen no we uh, we were going for D right away and then Lin Wolf and I decided to spread off now that that wasn't the, the changing factor because even though you know we were talking on TeamSpeak coordinating our actions the group in the north who headed to the north they were coordinated um, silently must have been because I didn't see a whole lot of chat or chat going on in uh, in the or I didn't see a whole lot of chat taking place in game um, so you know they were doing their part as well and then we came in took C uh, the, the group who did stay back in B or sorry in D they really uh, did their fair share as well uh, because they held the point and sure we didn't end up killing all uh, of the enemy team here but because we were playing so aggressively and so coordinated it's almost as if the enemy team didn't know how to react to us uh, and they were sort of staying on their side kind of waiting looking for weaknesses that we might present to them uh, but ultimately you know you never they never really found any uh, we're, we're about to win there we go we've won so it wasn't too bad of a map uh, match for me the the overall results I mean are completely outstanding but uh, it's because there was again you know teamwork everyone did their part and for the most part I think we only killed maybe five of their ships or something to that effect um, I still do end up uh, second overall in the team which isn't too bad um, get some credits uh, some money you know every little bit helps out here uh, especially when I'm grinding towards the uh, the Fubaki at this time alright so next clip today uh, we're back with Linwolf and we're on north this time uh, this video it, it does show a really good turnaround um, and you know how not giving up is going to ultimately help you lead uh, lead the team to victory um, now my results at the end of the battle uh, that you'll see here shortly are really uh, really not that great um, in terms of credits earned but from XP earned um, I did earn a reasonable amount of XP and uh, it has a lot of that has to do with the fact that I was supporting the team and um, and we ultimately that led to the victory and then you get your win bonus so you can still um, you know grind uh, for whatever tier you're working on next. I'm trying to get my Fubaki, that crafty Linwolf, I tell you. Uh, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to get my Fubaki and I'm about uh, maybe 25,000 away. I'm nowhere near close to having the credits needed for it. I'm still recovering from the purchase of the Megami and all of its modules. Um, but still I'll have it researched and uh, it's battles like this that'll, you know, one battle, one battle closer to get, meeting that goal. 
So initially we are going into uh, B. Um, Lynn Wolf is right behind me and of course again we're talking on TeamSpeak about the map what we're going to do um, and it's decided yeah we'll go B. Uh, the way we were positioned at the beginning it did seem to give us the advantage to take A and B and you can see that that's where the team is or how the team is spreading out now. So sure my group here is moving into B but it's the group that's taking A that uh, really really wins this whole uh, match for us. If it wasn't for those people and uh, just their sheer resolve to, to continue on and take that point uh, we would have lost this battle. So those people who are going to A, they're, they're the real heroes. I'm not sure um, you know what players they were but like I said they are the real heroes. So we're approaching into B here. Uh, haven't spotted anything yet. You can see um, yeah there, there it comes there. So we, we do start seeing things here. Yeah, B isn't really heating up at this time, although it's still really early, obviously. And then, uh, it's just like a fury of activity all of a sudden. Um, looking at the mini-map, you can see that A uh, has also come under attack. That There's at least two ships over there, uh, you know, pouring down an A that they can see. Um, there's another one there. Uh, in our zone here in B, we do have uh, some destroyers to deal with. So. I believe it's um, uh, Fubaki and Mitsuki that we have to deal with here. Uh, no, Mine Kaze. Yeah, look at the torpedoes. You can tell again, uh, like I mentioned in an earlier bit video, see three groups of two, that's Mine Kaze. Um, now, I do get wrecked pretty hard there. I ran into Linwolf, wasn't paying attention, didn't cause too much damage, and I had my repair um, handy, so it's okay, and I managed to dodge those torpedoes, which is good. Uh, I did shoot off some more torpedoes myself. They're really speculative. If anything does come around that little headland there, uh, those torpedoes will be in place to take them out if need be. I uh, still, again, you know, keeping that one in reserve for the emergency or if I can actually get a target uh, to take a shot at. The Cleveland pops up there, and for a second I did think I was going to get him, but yeah, as soon as I zoom in, no, those aren't going to happen. Um, but Linlin Wolf was all over that Cleveland, so you're going to see he's going to sort of flip around and try to keep firing on the Cleveland. Um, and he's going to do that behind me while I'm sort of going in and mm, securing our dominance over uh, over B here. And um, that Mine Kaze, again, you know, it's a great, great destroyer. The reload on it is so crazy. Uh, I've got an ally uh, destroyer here with me as well, so he and I are, are kind of here establishing uh, maybe the perimeter and whatnot. Um, but again, looking at the mini map, you see the A point. The team, again, it, it, they're still struggling for that A point right now, still fighting it out, um, and the enemy is capping it now. So those guys, you know, right now is, is the, the tipping point of this battle, and it wasn't until I went back and looked at it that I realized what was actually taking place, because at this time, you know, obviously I'm focused on what I'm doing. Uh, but this is the tipping point of the battle. Like, those people at A, they just got uh, fought off, and it's usually at this time that you see teams... Um, just break down at that point. Uh, you know, no one's gonna regroup and try to do the counteroffensive. Uh, no, everyone's sort of circling back and, and maybe moving to another point or trying to increase the range. Um, but you know, when you increase your range like that, you're gonna lose accuracy. And, and in a battle like this, uh, you really do uh, want to keep that in mind. It's about the points, right? It, it's not necessarily about getting the kills. I understand for every kill you get and every uh, every ship you lose you either gain or lose points um, but the fastest way is going to be to secure the points at least two of them especially when there's four like this you know at least secure two and then uh, start uh, breaking off and, and trying to kill the enemy but until you, you, you establish that I don't I, I really don't think it's a good idea to just go off, uh, you know, solo and, and try and take on people. Um, maybe if it was Team Deathmatch, but it's not, you know. It's about the points here. So Lin Wolf's back. Um, it's at this point that he and I are, uh, you can see that Cleveland. See, what happened was, as he went around the island to start shooting, to keep shooting at the Cleveland, he had some buddies there. They, those were the people who were on their way to A. Some of them did turn around. They're heading our way now as well. But as soon as he saw that, 
he said, no, uh, he's coming back. And uh, he came back into D, or sorry, into B with me. So it's at this point that we're sort of talking and saying, yeah, you know, maybe uh, we have B. It's just that destroyer. Once the destroyer gets out of here, like maybe we should try and push for C. Because uh, we were looking at what was happening at A. Weren't too confident in what was taking place there. We only have one point. It's contested at this time, so we're not actually earning any points. Um, we're still ahead uh, in points, I believe. Yeah, just by a little, but you know that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It's so close that you can't really call it at this time. Linwolf does take a torpedo there, um, but he's okay. He had his repair uh, ready to go, so just repairs. Unfortunate that it hit him, but you know it could have been a lot worse. Um, I'm going to be turning around here to help cover Linwolf because uh, here is when we're going to start making our um, our move towards C. Uh, so you can see Linwolf is heading in. I'm going to go back into B. The, the point itself isn't contested anymore. Uh, and that's what we were waiting for, sort of hanging around for, to see if that Minecause was going to come back and, and to contest the point and maybe start capping it. But he never does. Um, he, I don't know. Well, he might show up later. I can't really recall at this time. But uh, he's gone, and, and no one's going to actually take this point from us anymore. So that's great. And then, looking at the minimap, the people at A have managed to fight off that assault. Sure, the enemy still has uh, the A point, but there, they're now capping A. So that's fantastic. Close call here with the torpedoes, but oh man, that was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, they, they, they're capping A right now. Um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know who the players are who are on that A side. If anyone has any recording um, of someone who is in in that group taking a or or um, anyone know anyone who is there or if you're watching and you were one of those people you know send me the replay uh, or leave a comment I'd love to know a little more about what took place over there um, it looked like it was pretty intense and frankly thank you because um, it, it's what saved us here uh, you can see if they didn't take a Lin Wolf and I would have left B we would have went to C like this and then they would have came and take taken B from us. Or, if we would have stayed at B, they would continue to have uh, C, and now A, so they have three points to our one, and then you have two options at that point. you got to try and take a point, or you stay in the point you have and hope. Uh, so, you know, pretty bleak if that were to have happened, but not the case. Uh, those guys in the, the group that took A, hats off to you people. Uh, you really did it. Now we're in C, we've capped C, pops up the carrier. Lin Wolf was talking about this carrier. He was like, man, do you see the carrier? Do you see the carrier? I was like, what are you talking about? And then I get around here and I see him like, what is this guy doing? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe it was just a uh, you know, bad call by him. Like maybe, because we were behind the island, that, that little island there, right? So he wouldn't have seen us, potentially. So maybe he didn't know that we were on our way over here. I'm, I don't know, uh, but it was it didn't work out for him at all. You can see he's about to go down, and um, yeah, they lose their carrier. So now uh, we've got I think pretty sure that's a Cleveland there. Oh, the carrier's still hanging on. There goes uh, Lin Wolf shots. So that was Lin Wolf who just shot over me, and you can see there, uh, yeah, he got the kill. So that was great. Um, now, look too at the minimap. You can see the enemy team is kind of scattered, specifically the people who are directly south to me. I think it's a destroyer down there. Um, you know, that that's all fine and good to go carrier hunting. All right, if you're in a destroyer, sure. But, you know, try to um, maybe set yourself like a, a red line or something. You know, if I cross this point, I'm going to go back and help the team. Because he's down there, and sure, he's harassing our carriers. But on this map, and I'm sorry, carrier uh, carrier captains, but on, on this map, you know, I wasn't concerned about the carriers whatsoever. Um, they're, if, if they were down there, and they if they weren't pushing up with the team and, and keeping within our coverage range, you know, that's, that's their own fault. Um, and then that destroyer, by being down there, he's just, he's basically taken himself out of the game. We're not going to see him again. Um, any other ships that might be down there, you know they're they're just completely out of position. So 
keep that in mind when you're playing uh, playing ships on any map. Uh, I mean, if this was standard battle, just kill enemy team, that sort of play is really okay because it would have put you in a good position to harass carriers if you're down there, but more importantly to start capping um, the enemy base and putting pressure on them to send guys back to defend it. But in this type of map with these four points, you're... <laughs> I don't want to say glory hog, but I think I just said it, so glory hog. Um, now, you know, at this point, we, we've won the battle. It's just a matter of cap, uh, getting the cap points to win overall. Uh, they have only have four ships left. Um, there's not a whole lot they can do. I do fire off torpedoes, you know, just keeping them at a good distance, especially that Cleveland. See? Oh, it, it always seems that my... Uh, my turrets will just get knocked out and you can see the back one's blown off completely now and then there goes the engine uh, but luckily I'm able to repair that right away uh, strategy as well for your destroyers just to throw it out there if one of your turrets gets damaged and in the countdown don't repair it just let it uh, count down and repair itself save that repair for something more critical um, engines steering fire you know, flooding, anything like that. Save it for that. Don't, uh, don't waste it um, on just some turrets. You're a destroyer. Your your guns aren't primary. It's it's about your torpedoes. But use your guns like I did there. It's the end of the battle anyway. So yeah. Um, but anyway, you're about to see. Overall, I was nowhere near like even the top five on the team. Um, but I still got uh, over a thousand experience, enough to continue my grind. So, you know, just keep in mind, teamwork, and uh, it'll still pay off even if you're not top of the list. Uh, so thanks again for watching, and don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe, um, and of course, you know, enjoy the rest of your day.